The SeaSnake Microdrain is an innovative new camera system that's designed to enter lines and negotiate fittings that other cameras can't. The Microdrain's patent pending push cable combines an ultra tight minimum bend radius with a slick outer jacket. These technologies deliver enhanced maneuverability and maximum push down the line. The Microdrain can be purchased for use with either a SeaSnake monitoring system or the rigid Micro Explorer and kits are available that let you reconfigure the unit for use with the alternate monitor type. The micro drain includes ball type pipe guides. Pipe guides help center the camera in the line for a better image and can help the camera negotiate fittings and offsets. The micro drain is available with an optional inline transmitter or SOND which is located inside the camera head. When activated, the SON transmits a signal that can be located with a rigid receiver so you can pinpoint the camera's position and depth. In the next few minutes, we'll show you how to set up the micro drain and connect it to the rigid micro explorer and sea snake monitoring systems. We'll look at some typical usage applications and demonstrate cable techniques that can help you get through the line. The Microdrain's modular design makes it easy to remove and replace the slip ring modules, handles, and drum. To remove the drum, push the camera back through the cable guide and fully into the case. Then slide the two case latches to the unlocked position and open the case. The drum simply lifts out. After replacing the drum, feed the camera through the cable guide and secure it in the camera clip. Close the case and slide the case latches to the locked position. The Microdrain's interchangeable slip ring modules let you configure the unit for use with either a Sea Snake monitoring system or the rigid Micro Explorer. The Micro Explorer slip ring module has a system cable that terminates in an adapter plug that fits over the Micro Explorer's camera connector. The Sea Snake slip ring module has a system cable that terminates in a Sea Snake system connector. To swap modules, disconnect the system cable from the monitor and remove it from the cord wraps. Turn the slip ring module from the locked to the unlocked position and pull it free from the hub. Insert the alternate slip ring module into the hub and rotate it to the locked position. After installing the module, secure the system cable in the cord wraps on the case. To protect the pins inside the module from damage, we strongly recommend storing the unused module in its shipping box when it's not installed in the micro drain. The Microdrain is equipped with either a carrying strap or a cradle for the Micro Explorer, and kits are available that let you change to the alternate handle type. Refer to the instructions included with the handle kits for details on swapping handles. The Microdrain can be used with or without a pipe guide, but in many cases you'll find that pipe guides improve both the in-pipe image and your ability to push through the line. To install a pipe guide, Make sure that the red sliding locks are in the unlocked position and that the blue latches are fully opened. Then slide the guide over the camera head and onto the spring. To secure the guide on the spring, press the blue latches all the way down, then slide the red locks over the latches. You can use one or two pipe guides, and in most cases you'll want to position the front guide as close to the camera head as possible. If you're using the Micro Drain with the Rigid Micro Explorer, make sure that the Micro Explorer slip ring module is installed and that the connector is plugged securely into the Micro Explorer's camera connector. If you're using the Micro Drain with a Sea Snake monitor, unwrap the system cable and plug the connector into the system connector jack on your monitor. Once your equipment is connected, you can power on the monitor and begin using the system. If you're not familiar with your monitor's features and controls, 
Review its operating instructions before using your equipment. The MicroDrain's push cable is far more flexible than standard sea snake cables, and you'll need to modify your cable handling technique accordingly. You'll want to keep your hands as close to the access point as possible, and use either a steady push or a series of short strokes to work the camera through fittings and down the line. To reduce the chance of cutting or abrading the push cable, avoid dragging it across access points with sharp edges. As with larger sea snake cameras, your success entering through a given access point will depend on the size, material, and condition of the line, as well as the number and tightness of turns. In many cases, the micro drain can enter through low flow toilets and can negotiate P traps in tubs, showers, and floor and laundry drains. When entering through sink lines, you'll need to remove the P trap in most cases. When entering through a toilet fixture, pipe centering guides are especially useful and can often mean the difference between making it through easily and not making it through at all. A cable guide can also be helpful when entering through toilets. A cable guide helps protect the fixture from being scratched by the camera and allows you to push the camera from higher up in the bowl. You can make a simple guide from a piece of flexible hose or assemble one from lengths of PVC pipe. If your micro drain is equipped with the optional inline transmitter or SOND, you can activate it with your Sea Snake monitor. When activated, the SOND transmits a signal that can be located with a rigid receiver so you can pinpoint the camera's position and depth. Full size monitoring systems have a dedicated control for turning the SOND on and off. When the SOND is operating, you'll see a SOND icon on the display. If you're using a micro explorer, you can activate the sonde by turning the lighting all the way down. When the sonde is operating, you'll see faint noise lines on the display. The sonde will turn off automatically when you turn the lights back up. For instructions on locating the sonde, refer to your receiver's operator's manual. In the past few minutes, we've taken a quick look at the MicroDrain's features, capabilities, and configuration options. We've shown you how to connect it to both SeaSnake and MicroExplorer monitors, and demonstrated some techniques for getting through the line. On behalf of everyone at Rigid, thank you for choosing SeaSnake Diagnostic Equipment. <laughs>